Okay, here's the deal. I love magic cards so much that I want to open them on the camera. And thankfully I can do that thanks to my buddy, Gone Rogue Games, also known as Rug Deck Builder. He did not ask me to make a video here. He just, he sent me, basically I, I subscribed to his uh, Patreon because he uh, runs a game store and uh, you're able to get decent prices on sealed magic product if you're a Patreon patron of his. And uh, I was like, well, I'm trying to get this. What's the best price you can get me on it? And he went, uh, how about free? And he sent me one. So, and to be clear, this is not <coughs> sponsored content. He sent me this. He did not say I had to do anything with it, but I was like, dude, I'm going to make a video, obviously, and uh, promote your channel. So check out Rogue Deck Builder on YouTube. Uh, great financial discussion of the game and also cool deck ideas. And uh, we're taking a look at Strixhaven, the new set. I'm very excited. Hopefully. So the last two sets of Magic that have come out, I tried to record a video for Commander Legends. My camera died in the middle of it, so all that footage was unusable. Uh, actually, it didn't even finish uh, recording the f footage. It just deleted it off the camera because it didn't have a chance to finish saving it. And then I tried to do it with Time Spiral, and I forgot to hit record. So this is my third attempt... <laughs> At doing a, a magic un uh, opening pack opening, and hopefully I won't screw it up this time. Now, I don't know how many people know about the new set Strixhaven. Uh, what's cool about these is they have these mystical archive cards that are kind of cards from Magic's history, but with a cool new frame. And uh, yeah, those are the ones we want to open. These are the collector's boosters, which are more expensive than a regular booster. But you get the chance of opening the Japanese. Jesus Christ, my cat. Can you let me make a video? Why? Why can I not make these videos without my cats knocking everything over? Anyway, you have a, you can open the Japanese versions of those cards. And the Japanese versions have their own art and are super cool. So that's, uh, that's what we're looking for. The big hit would be a Demonic Tutor. In the Japanese alternate art, but I, I just kind of want to see some cool stuff here. All right. Part of the problem is we got these shiny cards, and I don't want the glare to make them impossible to see. So, okay. So it goes f commons. Common pile. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't know how this goes, because then there's one uncommon and one lesson. Is that how it always goes? Oh, wait. There's an uncommon there. Okay. Commons. Uncommon. Lesson, but that's a common. Then we get our first rare. Search your library card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. That card's interesting. That'll definitely see playing like commander type stuff. Then we have a. Let me put my rogue deck builder logo over here. Don't want to lose that. Okay. Commons. Regular uncommons. Foil rares. Okay. This card's interesting. It's like a Elvish Piper for spells, kind of. Okay, so that's textless rare. Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value two or less. I don't know if that's good. It depend on the format. Let's put that into textless whatever. Okay, our first Japanese one is going to be a. Is that etched foil? Yeah. So it's really hard to see, but you can kind of see. You see the border going around the card. Has a little bit of a foil treatment to it, which is nice. I kind of like how unstated it is. And uh, Opt's a pretty good one, I'm going to say. I think Opt is solid. That'll be my Japanese pile. I guess we got to move these piles to make them work. Okay. Okay. Japanese. Now, this is the... So, again, this is the Mystical Archive cards, which are cards from Magic's past. This is the English version of the Mystical Archive cards. Sign and Blood. Solid card. Definitely gets played. And I, this is Shaka? No. Is this Grape Shot? No. Oh, why do I not know what this is? I feel like this is Shock. Anyway, okay. So that'll be here. And then a Foil Textless Dramatic Finale. Creature tokens get plus one, plus one. Whenever non-token creatures die, create an Inkling. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's like my... That's like the marquee cards. That's your big win at the end, is your foil... Whatever the hell. I have no idea how to organize these. 
Let's put the commons on commons in their own stack. The rares there. Textless regular rares. Japanese fun times. That, that, and the super cool stuff. Okay. Cool beans. And I don't know what the prices are on this. The only things I know are worth money are like, again, the Japanese demonic tutor and stuff like that. Okay. Token. Beep. Tokens are not exciting. Ooh, I see something in the back. I don't know what it is. Okay. Commons on commons. We have Codex. Or Cody the Codex. The living book of fun, fun times. Very cool. Curiosity Crafter. You have no maximum hand size. Whatever. Creature token. Okay. Something to do. Another dramatic finale. Not foil. That's fine. Shock. Again, this one's, these ones have the foil treatment, but it's these gold bits on the edge. I actually like this. Some people were complaining because they want like, the whole card to be foil. I actually think that's way nicer. And Because uh, originally I was complaining about the Mystical Archive cards because I was like, oh, why do they all have that yellow bit? But now that it's actually gold, that looks a million times better than the yellow one. Because uh, on the actual cards, they're like just this gross yellow color, and it looks terrible. This looks a million times better. Okay, can I figure out what this is? I think this is... Is this Natural Order? So I, I think this is Natural Order, which is a very good card, and I'm very excited to have it, if that's what it is. Uh, Divine Gambit. Oh, is that what I was excited about? Because that card sucks, and I'm not excited about it. Oh, shit! Wait, isn't this a big deal? Isn't it extended Mythic to Fairy's Protection like a thing? Okay, well, that is currently a $60 card, so that goes in a sleeve. Nice hit. Damn. Okay, next pack. Let's do it. Can't go wrong with it. Yeah, Teferi's Protection. I forget where this card was printed. It was like a, a special release. It was not in like normal packs before, so people still want it. Okay, we got some commons and uncommons. I don't know if there's any uh, money commons or uncommons in this set. Oh, weird. There's like a big line going across this one. I don't know if you can see it. For each opponent, gain control of its thing. Okay, cool. So regular foil or then there's going to be two. Uh, what do you call it? Extended art, guys. Okay. Snakeskin Veil sucks. Uh, huh. What is this guy? You know what? I'm going to bring up the Japanese Mystical Archive rather than not knowing what cards I'm getting. Okay, so this one is God's Welling. Solid card. Uh, super playable. And then, uh, was that? Yes, that is Natural Order, which is awesome. This guy. Which, uh, I want a Natural Order. I'll play that in... Natural Order is a busted-ass card. Okay, so this is a full foil eliminate. I don't know if I like these more or less than the etched foils. I think the etched foils are almost cooler. But, uh, card is solid. Very good. And a extended Cody the Codex. Uh, as far as extended cards go, I'm obviously more excited to open extended uh, mystical arts or whatever the hell they're called, but I'll try not to get too greedy about that. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Foil rare is a lore hold command. Is this good? Make a spirit. Everybody gets indestructible. It's okay. I can't tell if it's great. It is a command, though. People like commands. We have scholarship sponsor. Retriever Phoenix. Very cool. Okay, this is, uh, what do you call it? Plus three, plus two. What's that card called? I want to say Infuriate, but I don't know if that's correct. Ooh! Mind's Desire. I didn't know Mind's Desire was in here. What's a Mind's Desire go for? Let's see. Mind's Desire Foil Etched goes for ten bucks. Can't argue with ten dollars. I think that goes in a sleeve. Then we get the dress. Always good, always playable. I like that art. Yeah, so originally I really did not like these frames, but seeing them in foil, uh, it's a little better. I still wish they were a little less yellow. Like, they're very... I, I would prefer if they were washed out a little more, but okay. And... Flame Scroll Celebrant on the reverse side is Revel in Silence. I don't know if this is going to get played. This actually seems like a good sideboard card. Because on one side you have punish your opponents for doing stuff, and on the other side you have stop your opponents from casting a spell. I feel like this could be in the sideboard of certain decks, um, but maybe I'm crazy. Okay, okay, 
I just don't want that demonic tutor. I'm not gonna lie. That's the that's the big one. Which I used to have a bunch of demonic tutors and I sold them all for like ten dollars and now they're what like forty bucks each. All right, get through that. Boom, ingenious mastery. Uh, I don't know if this is good. You draw three cards no matter what. And, okay, I don't know. It's a complicated card, let's put it that way. <laughs> it's got a lot going on. Fervent Mastery Paradox Zone. Okay. Like, really, the only cards I know that I want are these ones. Negate, pretty cool. Oh, Lightning Helix. This is such good art, dude. I love this art. Uh, Yeah. Man, I hope I get a foil of Lightning Helix. That just looks awesome. Then we have Defiant Strike, which sucks. And Gift of Estates. I don't even know that one. If an opponent controls more lands than you, get three planes. That might be something. I don't know. I've never seen that card. It's actually got good art, though. I kind of like the art on that. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Normally, I... Not to sound racist, but normally I don't like that kind of African-themed art. But there it actually is. Pretty cool looking. Uh, all right. Beep. Let's go. Luminous Light Scribe. I don't think that's going to get any heavy play, but it's cool. Leonin Light Scribe. Strict Professor. Okay, we got a Whirlwind Denial. I believe this is Inquisition of Kozilek, which is solid. That's a good card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Foil Opt. I don't know what the foil ops are going for. I feel like they should be going for something. Look at how great that looks. I'm a big fan of that. And, oh, okay. We got a foil. Always a foil extended land is usually good to grab. Usually, even if it's not a great land, there'll be somebody. Somebody wants to play that in something. Okay. Yeah, so some, some packs can have up to four... Mystical Archive. Every pack has at least three Mystical Archive cards, and then sometimes your big hit can also be one, as we saw with Teferi's Protection. Okay, dupe. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery, they may pay two. It's the reverse side of that. Huh, that could be a good one. That's an interesting one. Ooh! Oh, I forgot, you also get one card from the... Uh, so I think these cards are all from the new command decks, the ones you get there. That slot. And then we got a extended Kazmina Enigma Sage. Very cool. I like that. Okay, this is... Eliminate, destroy a creature with... No, Fracture. I think Fracture is what this card is. I'm not sure. This might be Eliminate. It's probably Eliminate, actually. Again, I like that. I like that little foiling on there. It's hard to see in the camera, but... Electrolyze is always cool. Oh man, it costs. What is that? Dark Ritual. Oh, no wait, this isn't Dark Ritual. What is this? Oh, Village Rites. Okay, never mind. Far less exciting. <laughs> Village Rites is playable, but it is not Dark Ritual. Ooh, okay. Well, I can't complain about getting a foil swords to plowshares. That's rad. Heck yeah, dude. What's that going for? It's saying this is eighty dollars. That can't be correct. Is that correct? Yeah, they were pre-selling at 25. It looks like now they're selling for 50. 50 bucks. I I think the price will probably come down a bit, but uh yeah. Damn. Damn. All right. I got no problem with that. Nice. Let's go, baby. Give me some more mystical archives. The Japanese ones are such cool art, dude. Again, like even something like Village Rights, which is not like an exciting <laughs> card, it still just looks so badass that you want to put it in a deck. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a playable card for sure. Humiliate. Okay. Okay. So you always get a lesson, and sometimes the lesson can be uh, rare. Got it. I actually really like this uh, Persistent Cauldron card that lets you make pests and whatever else. I've been playing this in draft, and it's just really solid. And then, obviously, you have the ability to... Get back two cards. Yeah, that card's really good. I really like that one. Okay. Trippy Titan. Keeny, Dean of Steeny. Exile of the Time. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Alright, can we figure out what this is? 
It's got a one in the text. I, th I want to say it's cultivate. It looks like cultivate. Yep, it's cultivate. Okay, cultivate is solid. Urza's rage, whatever. Ah, infuriate. I wish this was. What do you call it? Lightning Bolt. It's still good art, though, man. That looks cool. Even so, for a card that is not that good. Oh, okay. And then a... This is a Mythic. Let's see. Create a Inkling, a Spirit, and an Elemental. So it costs seven, which normally would suck, but it's a Lesson, which means... Uh, I don't know if you guys know about this, but there's some cards in the set that say Learn as an ability. And what that means is when you cast that card, you can take this card from outside the game and put it into your hand. So it's almost like a free card. I don't know. I wonder if I wonder if that'll get played anyway. But it, it's definitely pretty cool. All right, Toki. All right. Again, another uh, rare lesson. Return a planeswalker to the battlefield or yeah, this is that's solid. That's solid for a lesson. Again, lesson cards are like almost free. And that's another foil rare. This guy's a mythic. So I don't know if this guy's in the actual set or if this guy's in the command decks. Whenever you cast your copy an instant or sorcery, it gets plus one plus one. Okay. If casting or copying an instant. Okay. okay. Okay, interesting. Again, another lesson. Uh, all right, so what do we got here? I want to say that's Whirlwind Denial. Yes, Whirlwind Denial. Okay, another Gift of Estates. Okay, another Whirlwind Denial. Okay, not a great card. Uh, and a Manifestation Sage. Eh, all right, whatever. Come on, man, give me another cool... I mean, I don't know, my Mystical Archives has been pretty cool. I got the Swords, the Plowshares, and the Teferis, whatever. I just want, I want like, yeah, I like the Japanese ones the best, though. I want like, the, I want the mythic Japanese, whatever the hell's. This guy is so interesting. 1110 for four mana. Like, yes, if it attacks or blocks, a bad thing happens, but just fling it at their face for ultimate fun times. Clockwork, Scholar, Double Major, Counter Target Creature Spell you control. Except it isn't Legend, oh, Copy Target Creature Spell, got it. I was about to say, why would you counter your own spell? One white, and he's fighting, fighting a thing. I think this is whatever that one is. Yeah, it's it's whatever. It's plus one plus zero. Oh, uh, draw a card. Not that great. Abundant harvest. I don't know if that card's good. We got to cultivate. Ooh. We got de spark. Exile target permanent with mana value. So is that four mystical archive cards? Yes, it is. Exile target permanent with mana value four greater. Cool. Oh, and then the token. I was confused. I was like, is there another card back there? We forgot to take the token out. Four Mystical Archive cards in one pack. I can't argue with that. Even if none of them were, like, super exciting. All right, take the Toki out. Take out the Toki. All right. Two Dream Strix. Quandrix Command. People were arguing about this card, I think. About whether or not it's worth playing. I'm not sure. Okay, we got Agonizing Remorse. Whatever. Oh, what's this guy? There's a lot of cards that all cost the same, so I can't be like, oh, it's Lightning Bolt. Oh, it's what it is. There's so many one-cost cards. This is Faithless Looting. Oh, okay. At least we didn't get the English Faithless Looting. I don't know if you guys have seen it. The English Faithless Looting is uh, kind of being ripped apart for how stupid it looks. Shock. No Lightning Bolts for me, huh? This card actually kicked my ass online. I could see this getting played. Just a huge trampler. For four that draws you a free card when you play it uh kind of a nightmare all right last pack last packy packy here let's take a look oh oh final card looks like a thing final card looks confusing actually is that like a is that a planeswalker back there we're gonna find out i guess uh oh no it's got to be a japanese one yeah that's some japanese thing okay he heated debate Dent, dent. Oh, dropping mistakes, dropping mistakes. I think it's Inquisition of Kozilek based on the colors. Sedgemore Witch, yes. Uh, I wish I got more of these lands, because these lands are not terrible. Okay, Adventurous Impulse. Growth Spiral, always good. 
One in a blue. Is this that stupid thing that just like is not a good card at all? The one that draws cards. Not exciting. And Foil Inquisition of Kozilek. Full art. I gotta check what that's going for. That one is also going for 50 bucks. So I guess the big money cards here are the full art, full foil, uh, Japanese whatever cards, of which we got, uh, though some of them are not that exciting. Let me see. Which ones did we get? Whirlwind Denial. I guess they also have to be playable to be exciting for people. I don't know. It's like kind of pointless to look up the prices right now because they're all over the place because nobody knows exactly how many of these packs are going to get opened. But uh, let's see. So as far as Mythics from that slot, I think the two we got were what? We got Mind's Desire and uh, Teferi's Protection. Both pretty exciting. And then as far as Mythics from the Japanese slot, we got... I don't think we got any Mythics there, sadly. Oh, no, we did get Natural Order, so that's pretty cool. I know Natural Order is in here. Yeah. So we got Natural Order, and uh, none of the rest of them are Mythic Rarity, but... Still, I don't think this was a terrible, terrible box. Yeah, not a lot of Mythic Rares in this box, but we did get some cool stuff. Again, the Teferi's Protection and the Mind Desires. Uh, maybe those are supposed to be your Mythic Hits. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, pretty pretty cool box, pretty cool stuff, getting the swords to plowshares, getting the opt. Uh, we'll see again if those end up actually holding on to their rarity. I feel like the prices are probably going to go down a bit from where they're at. Uh, but I am going to open at least one more box of these that I ordered personally for myself. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll flip this to Fairy's Protection that I don't need that badly, turn it into something. Uh, but yeah, hey, that was the box. Good stuff. Always having fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know a lot of you don't care about magic cards at all, and that's fine, because I make these videos for me, because <laughs> I enjoy it. Have fun, everybody. Oh, and thanks again to my boy, Rogue Deck Builder. Gotta go rogue. Check it out. Have fun.